ready today. We're making up some vet recipes for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is on Sunday. Today is Friday. I took the day off from work because I thought I deserved it. And my boss, did. you know, it depends. I'm having a really stressful time at my job right now. So um, it is a welcome day off, I have to tell you. But today we're going to make some uh, ubiquitous and popular, that was a big word, uh, cocktail wieners. And this is one of my favorite ways to make them. You know, we all enjoy, well, a lot of us, I'm sure, enjoy, enjoy the little smokies. And this is, you know, this is a real throwback recipe. I remember eating these growing up. Now, I will tell you, my mom never made them because my mother can't stand hot dogs and even likes cocktail wieners less than hot dogs. But Little Smokies, I usually try to keep in my fridge. We like to heat them up in the morning with uh, pancakes or whatever. You know, we put them on the side of some eggs or whatever. Uh, muffins, they're a good addition of protein to your breakfast, you know, if that's what you got. So we're going to make this saucy sauce, and we're going to put the Little Smokies in there. are going to heat them up, and then you're going to serve them with cocktail toothpicks. You can transfer this to a crock pot after you finish cooking it, and then you just keep it there so your party guests can help themselves. So let's see how I do this. First of all, we're going to start out with a pound, or this is 13 ounces, but it's one small package of Little Smokies. And I prefer the beef Little Smokies because it has beef in it and not... Mm. Beef. Mechanically separated chicken parts. <laughs> no. But we're also, I'm, mine is a little different. A lot of people just heat up the sauce, throw in the wieners, and heat it up. Um, I'm going to saute about two tablespoons of minced garlic. So this is about two cloves of garlic that's finely minced. And about a half of a small onion. And to give you an idea, that is the size of onion I used. And this is just... This is a Peruvian sweet onion. I prefer the sweet onions to the uh, yellow or white onions because they're much sweeter and they are less acrid and they're a lot less spicy. So this about, I would say, a quarter of a cup of minced onion. And then where my sauce differs from a lot of people, a lot of people simply start out with barbecue sauce or chili sauce and grape jelly. So I'm going to use this whole bottle, which is an 18.8 ounce bottle of grape jelly, and I'll tell you why I got that kind in a minute one 12 ounce bottle which is one cup of chili sauce and one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce now i know that there's high fructose corn syrup in both the barbecue sauce and the chili sauce it's very hard to avoid that these are my two favorite brands to use when i went looking for the grape jelly i couldn't really find one that had no high fructose corn syrup in it you know i make my own jam i've never made grape jelly and I'm going to try and fix that. However, when I look at the reduce, I'm thinking, well, maybe there, this probably has sweetener in it, right? But it doesn't. It says right on the label, no artificial sweeteners and no high fructose corn syrup. So if I turn it over, I don't know if you'll be able to read it. It just has grapes and sugar and water and pectin and citric acid. Now, if I'm going to feed my family grape jelly, this is probably the kind I'm going to get because it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it. I know I talk about that all the time, and you need to make your own choices for your own family. This is the choice I made. So, I have on my stove, and I'll have Rick walk over there, I have about a tablespoon of a neutral vegetable oil sautéing in this pot. And I'm going to do it in a pot because I'm making a sauce. And I'm just going to throw my onions in there and then my garlic. Remember, if your pan is hot, you put your onions in first so that you don't burn your garlic. We're just going to saute those that's hot enough that I'm not even going to have to walk away or go away and come back because those onions are, are chopped up small enough that they're going to they're gonna get soft really fast. And how good does garlic and onion smell when it's sautéing? I mean, come on, who doesn't love that? Okay. So in goes my grape jelly. One of my goals is to um, learn how to make grape jelly. This is not wanting to come out of the jar or the bottle, but... There it goes. I paid for it all, right? I want it all to get in there. 
All right, I'll stop there. Give this a stir. Now, for some of for those of you out there who've never seen this done, please don't gag and don't think, "Ew, that's gross." Because I have to tell you, this is the yummiest little sweet and sour cocktail wiener you're ever going to have. And you know what else? This is a really good dipping sauce for chicken nuggets. It's a really good glaze uh, for a ham or just some chicken wings or whatever you want to use this for. It's a really nice sauce to have in your recipe repertoire. Okay, this is a chili sauce. And for those of you who don't know what chili sauce is, it's really just dressed up ketchup. It's got a spicy kick to it. Is that good, honey? I used, like I used the chili sauce in my um, cocktail sauce. It's spicy. Not that spicy, but it's in the back. And in goes our cup of barbecue sauce. You don't have to use the barbecue sauce. You can just use the chili sauce and the grape jelly. You can use all barbecue sauce and no chili sauce. But you have to use the grape jelly or some kind of jelly. You can use apricot jelly or orange marmalade. Or you can even use um, cranberry sauce. You can use a can of jelly cranberry sauce. That would be wonderful in here. And it would give it a different set of flavor notes. Now I'm just going to turn this heat up just a bit. And then I'm going to grab my, uh, my wieners. In they go. Every single one of them. Stir this. We're going to bring this to a gentle simmer and we're going to simmer them for 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back when it's time to taste these. So that when I post it on my blog, it will be beautiful. All right, there you have it. Little Smokies in a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce made with grape jelly, barbecue sauce, and chili sauce. I certainly hope you give this a try for your Super Bowl spread, and I hope that you will give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. So there they are, Little Smokies and a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. I hope you try this and I hope you love it. And I hope that you will rate, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. And until next time, I'll see ya.